Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm back with another home workout. I've been doing, you know, with self-isolation and now that our diving pool is like completely closed, um, it's been time for me to think about what I can do with no equipment at home that I can actually get the most out of. So, we're gonna do a six minute ab smash. So get ready, your abs are gonna be burning. We've also got a little bit of back in there to balance it out, so let's get to it. Okay, so the first exercise we're gonna do is a very simple little ab crunch. So we're gonna lay on our back, and we're just gonna do some simple ab crunches. You can either have your arms behind your head like this, and kind of come up halfway. You can either do it with your arms out here, just slightly easier, or you can come all the way up. I like to do halfway, because for me it engages the lower abs a little bit more. So engaging and pulling up, engaging, pulling up, and you feel like you're a massive arc coming up through here. All the way up, try and stay long out, and almost traction your head away from your hips. So you're nice one long line. So you're gonna be there. And rest, that's first 40 seconds down. We have got six exercises total. So the next one we're gonna be doing, toe touches. You can either do it with straight legs, or you can do it with bent legs. I'm gonna do it with straight legs, because that's what I do when I'm diving. But you can also do it with bent legs and do this. So, we're nearly ready for it. Here we go. Touch, down, touch, down, touch, down, touch, down. We're gonna be going for 40 seconds again. Woo! Abs already on fire, but just try and keep to a rhythm and a pace that you can manage all the way. Like I said, you can always go down to here if you find it hard to keep the legs straight, but I'm gonna keep them up and straight and challenge myself. Keep going. Woo! Exhaling on the way up. Doing a bit of exhaling on the way up can help you with your breathing. Rest, by the way. Um, helping with your breathing to be able to, can actually engage your core to get you up a little bit higher. So the next thing we're gonna do are side V-sits. So I'm gonna demonstrate. So what I would do is with straight legs, do this. But if you can't do it with straight legs, you can do it with bent legs, okay? So we'll do 20 seconds each side. Here we go. Again, like I said, you can always do the regression like this if you find that side easier. And this is a little bit too challenging for now. Okay, twitch sides. And we go again, straight away, no rest. Because we're doing 20 seconds each side. Woo. We're gonna have a little bit of a break from the abs after this because we're gonna go into back extensions. So, stick with it. This is working your obliques. Woo! Okay, rest. Oh, anyone else's abs sore? Get them a little bit of a stretch halfway through. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is a back extension. So we're gonna be on the floor like this, and then we're gonna push up, and down. And we are going to do 40 seconds. Here we go. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You're gonna engage your glutes. And it's gonna be a little bit of a stretch actually through your abs after all the abs you've been doing. But it's always good to balance out your core. Lots of people think core is just abs when actually you need to work your back, and your obliques, and lots of different parts to be able to make sure you're stable all the way around. Sometimes that can be done with just doing exercises, single leg, single arm, that can really work your stability. Whew. Maybe there. And rest. Okay, next one we got, bicycles, one of my faves. So, you're gonna be on your back, and you're gonna be coming up, and doing this. But you can do it in two different ways. You can do it slowly, just rolling across, like this, or you can do it when you stay up the whole time. Here we go. So, there we go. Again, you can do it quickly, which will kill you in the first 40 seconds that you do. You can do it slowly, and you can put your foot down in between each one which will just allow you to have a little bit more control, a little bit more stamina, and keep you going all the way to the end. 
you've got 20 more seconds of this exercise. My shoelaces are coming undone. <laughs> Here we go. Keep going. Not got long to go. Less than 10 seconds. Woo. And then we're going to be finishing up with our last exercise. And rest. Okay, our last exercise, mountain climbers. Lots of people already know what these are. We're going to, I'm going to tighten up my shoelaces in the meantime. But we're going to be in a plank position. And then in that plank position, we're going to draw each knee to our chest as fast as we can, but in a controlled manner. So we're going to go from here, and we're going to go up like this. Lots of people can do it really fast, but if you try and keep your hips relatively down without arching your back, then keep them down. And again, stick to a pace that you can do the whole way through. Drive your knees up. It's going to be tough on those abs. Right about now, so we've only got 15 seconds left of this six minute ab smash. Whew. Here we go. Oh, nearly there. Keep going. Oh, and rest. Woo! That was six minutes of work and we managed to smash our abs. I'm going to just go into a bit of a stretch here by just putting my hands in a bit of a diamond shape by my head and then coming up into a little bit of a back bend, but trying to like pull yourself forward so you feel the stretch out all the way through your abs. Don't go up too high, but it'll hurt you back, but just do what feels good to stretch out those abs. Woo! So I hope you enjoyed that workout, and I'm gonna be doing lots of home workouts while I'm, you know, the pool is shut and I'm not able to do anything. Um, so yeah, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you like it, Share this video with a friend if you think that they need to do a bit of an ad workout and I will see you very soon with another home workout.